All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something special for you. These are brand new. We just started finding these in our local arcades. And as you know, we go to a lot of arcades, win a lot of tickets, and we like to buy cool prizes and blind bags in particular and open them for you guys. So what these are, these are the Godzilla hangers. Uh, these were made for the 61st or 65th anniversary celebration. And there's 10 different ones you can get. And we've never opened any of these before. So these are going to be brand new to us and you. And we're going to bring them to you. Hopefully we can get all 10 of those. That's always our goal when we have a bunch of bags to open. And I think it looks like we have about <clears throat> 16 or 17 of these bags. So we should have pretty good odds to get a bunch of different ones. Without further delay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started. So getting into the first one here, this one looks pretty much like just a classic version of Godzilla. Let me move this hanger out of his face. We'll let him spin around for you. I think that's a classic version. <clears throat> that is Millennium Godzilla. And you can see the cool purple spikes on his back. And these are very well made, a lot of detail in the face, if you look there. And the whole thing is very well put together. And so these are gonna be really nice to collect. So Millennium Godzilla is our first one. And we'll go ahead and let him stand up right there as we open up the second one. In no particular order, I'm just gonna grab these from the top. So what's also nice about these bags is some of the blind bags have that little opening a uh, little rip kind of started, a little indention, and it makes it real easy just to take that and tear the top of the bag off. So we like these. Uh, here's another new one. This one is also Godzilla, but a different version. That is Shin Godzilla, S-H-I-N. <clears throat> so very cool colors on him, kind of a different tail. Um, almost looks like a reptile tail of some type curling up around. Cool colorings. And again, very good detail. This one you can really tell the fingernails and toenails stand out. So that is Shin Godzilla. A little smaller compared to Millennium Godzilla. But there's those two side by side. <clears throat> Next up. We have... Oh, I think this is Mothra. Yeah, this is one of the villains that Godzilla would fight. And that is very nicely done. Look at the detail on the inside of the wing. Uh, almost looks like it was airbrushed or something on there. And then let's see how the back of this looks. Look at that. So there's the back, the front, and there's a little Mothra in the set. So we'll go ahead and put them right there. Actually, let me uh, flip it upside down like that. So three different ones so far. I'll put the villains over this way a little bit, and then we'll put the, the Godzilla monsters kind of in their own little area. So let's grab this one on the second row, closest to me. We'll let you guys look inside this one before I pull it out, see if you can tell anything. And it is another new one. This one is, I already think I know. Let me just get him out of here. That is Mecha Godzilla. Mecha. So like a robot version of Godzilla. Mechanoid version. All steel looking, robotic. Uh, got the MG. That's a nice touch on the arms for Mecha Godzilla. And I'll show you all the way around this one. Here's the back. Got the red eyes. Actually, no, yellow eyes, but red on the temples. And then MG right there. So look at that. You would think Mecha Godzilla would be even bigger than Millennium Godzilla. But so far, he's standing the tallest. So there's the three Godzillas. And let's see what we get next. Not bad, four different ones out of four bags so far. 
Next out is going to be our first repeat. And that is another Mothra. So for now, I'll just kind of leave that one in the container it comes in. But there is Mothra number two right there. And let's go with this one. Now this one we noticed earlier is way bigger and way heavier than some of the others. Let me find the comparison. Here's a good one. See how that bag is really kind of flat? And look at this one, guys. It is uh, not only way bigger packaging, but it's way heavier. So this is gonna be something I don't think we've seen yet. And if I had to guess, looking at the back of this, I'm just seeing what some of the biggest ones are. It's either gonna be this here, I'm thinking, or it could be, this looks like the biggest of the Godzilla, so it could be one of those. Let's check it out and see. Bring it straight out. Oh my goodness, what is this? Look at that one, guys. This is obviously one of the monsters, and it looks like his name is Biolante. Biolante. Ryan looked up some of the names of these for me because I'm not a real aficionado on all the monsters, but this one is super cool. Um, it's got the one large head, and then flanking that, there's four smaller ones, pretty much so it can't, uh, it can't be snuck up on, you could say and it can attack from all sides. So look how look how beefy that one is compared to some of these others. So I think if you fill the bag sometime, you might be able to tell this one. So there it is again. And we'll go ahead and put him over with the monster groupings there. And then see what we can get next. We're still on a pretty good run. We've only gotten one repeat of Mothra. And let's see what we have here. This is another repeat, but it is probably, in my opinion, one of the cooler ones in the in the collection, and that is Mecha Godzilla once again. So we have our first repeat of that version. I'll go ahead and put that right here behind his twin, and let's go out of order and grab this bag down front here. Let's see what we got in here. <clears throat> You want to look first? There it is. See if you can see anything good in there. And it is Millennium Godzilla. This was the very first one that we pulled. And also, you know, every version of these are so cool looking in their own way. That one's got the classic um, color on it with those purple fins, those spikes on the back. Makes it look so menacing. And I think that's also one of the cooler ones. Obviously, the Godzilla sculptures are my favorite compared to the monsters so far, but there's still a lot to go. So let's put that one right behind the other Millennium. And let's go with the furthest bag away and see what we have here. Now this one again, you see how big this is? If I had to guess, knowing just a little bit I know about these so far, this almost would feel like another one of the Biolante, the monsters right here. Which, by the way, I think is the considered the rare in the in the ten characters. That's probably the rare one to get. So if it is, and we got a second one, that'd be cool. Let's go ahead and see. And yes, it is. There it is again. Another. That, not wanting to come out. Another Biolante. I'll put him here for one second, let him go around once. And then we'll add him to the collection over here. So again, if that is the rare, then it's nice to have two of those right off the bat. So we're starting to get repeats on some of them. Let's flip this over and see what we still need. So we're gonna need, this is like a fire version of Godzilla. We need that. Uh, we need this guy here. I'm not sure what that is yet, but we need that. 
we need this creature. And then last one would be this dragon three-headed creature down here. So we still need, uh, what's that, four more, maybe five to have them all. Let's see what we can do. See if we can pull a new one. This one feels super light. And it is a new one. This is, it looks like a pterodactyl, basically. That's what it looks like. Uh, this is Rodan. Rodan, I guess you would pronounce it. And it's basically a dragon pterodactyl looking monster that I guess uh, Godzilla would fight from time to time. So again, super cool one there. You see how it look if it's hanging on your backpack or something like that. What do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five. We have lucky seven left. And I think we need about three more characters to have the whole set. So let's see what we can do. Coming out next is, uh, this is a new one. This is an all black Godzilla with the gray fins on the back. This is Earth Godzilla, it looks like is the name of it. So another version that we did not have. And we will take Earth Godzilla and add him to the mix right here by the other group. So there's three more that we need. I know we still need that fire version of Godzilla. I think if we get that, we'll have all the Godzillas. And then I think we need a couple more of the monsters after that. So let's see, what's, what looks like a lucky one to try to get a new one? Um, let's go right in the middle. Let's get this one right out of the middle. Here. <clears throat> is it a new? It is. Look at that. I just said we still needed that as the last Godzilla. This is Burning Godzilla. I think that one looks ultra cool. Um, it's almost like a transparent orange. It definitely looks like he's on fire. So that is burning Godzilla. And with that one, we do have all of the Godzillas now, I believe. And we just need a couple of monsters left to complete them. Let me put him right here. We still need, it looks like, Space Godzilla. So there is one more. And then Ghidorah. I think is how you pronounce that last monster. So the two that we still need, let me just reflect with the group here. This is Space Godzilla. And then I believe Ghidorah, the three-headed flying dragon. This one, it's a big package, but it is ultra light, ultra light. So if I had to guess, I'm thinking maybe another one of the two flying monsters down there, because it's a really light packaging. Let's see if I'm getting good at figuring these out. Yes. That's another Rodan. So right there, pterodactyl looking monster. You can see the front and the back. So we will add that one back here with our repeats. And we have four more. Let me line them up here. One, two, three, four. And we still need two characters. So let's see if we can make that happen. Let's start right here. The light packaging again. It is, it is one that we needed. I believe it's Ghidorah. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. If you know the names of all the Godzilla monsters, uh, please leave us a comment in the chat. Uh, this one's really cool looking. Uh, it's got great detail on those dragon heads. Almost looks like it's bronze or like a uh, almost a gold bronze finish on it. And then on the tail, it's got some spikes. That looks like probably one of the most fierce monsters besides uh, this big one here. I'd say these two would probably be the two... Godzilla might have the most problem with. I don't know. 
But that leaves us with only one more needed. Let me put this over here with the monster crew. We have three bags left. And the only one we're lacking is right there. It's the Space Godzilla with the purple underside. So if we get lucky and we pull that out of these next three, that would mean we got the complete set of 10. So let's see if we can get lucky and make that happen. Let's go with this furthest one over here. I'm gonna let you guys look first since I ripped this. Let's see what it looks like in there. Uh, nope, I thought that was it. It is a Godzilla. Uh, this one right there. We did pull. That's Earth Godzilla. So it's a, another good one to have. But we are still looking for Space Godzilla. So let's go ahead and put Earth back there. And we have two more chances to get it. You guys think we can do it? I hope so. Let's see. I'm gonna just pull this one out fast. Oh, it's not Space Godzilla, but it is one that we've gotten before. And so now we, you know, it's pretty cool because we have like two of each. That's Shin Godzilla. And that one has got a really unique look to it. Look how small his head is in this version. He's got a big body but his head is very small compared to some of the other Godzillas. So we'll put that over here with the repeat pile. And we are down to one more. And if we get that last one, it will be very awesome. But if we don't, don't worry, because we will be getting more of these. These are very cool. And now that they're at our local arcades, you can bet there'll be another video on opening these. Let's see if we did it or not. Last one. Ah, it's another Shin. It's just like the one we got. So we did miss out on one Earth... Oh, Space Godzilla. There's Shin again with that little tiny head. Uh, but these are very cool. We like them a lot. We do a lot of blind bags, a lot of hangers. But I'd say out of the more recent ones, these are some of the coolest not only because it's Godzilla and the monsters, but just the detail that they put into these are really good. Um, so there will be a part two. Um, here's a picture of what Space Godzilla looks like, just so you guys can see what we're on the hunt for. And there will be another opening at least showing that. So I hope you enjoyed today's segment on the Godzilla blind bags and hangers. Uh, if you did and you like this comment, please make sure to follow our channel, like, uh, subscribe, and leave us a comment. And we will see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.